Alright guys, welcome to part 3 of uh, M16 modeling tutorial and we're going to be doing a trigger okay so I'll go to edge mode and insert an edge loop right down here smart bang in the middle okay now you want to select all the faces on the back so like this and you just want to make sure they're all selected okay you want to keep the uh, bottom faces clear we don't want to extrude them now okay so after when you've selected all the faces you can extrude them all in so if you go to extrude then click scale and you just want to scale it in the Z to about there or something and you want to delete these top faces here and this one here and this one and then go to the bottom of the model you want to delete these faces this face this face here that face really you want to delete all the faces on the bottom so this and the other one all right now what you want to do is go to split polygon tool and you want to start a split here and drag it to about there and same with the other side about here to there all right and then you want to go to your merge vertex tool you want to merge these edges together so like that then do the other side as well like that and then finally you want to go to a pen poly and you just want to click this face and then edge and this edge this edge and this edge and click enter and that should be it Right, so that's how you do the trigger. Okay. So now what you're going to have to do is go to your side view. We're going to make the grip down here. So I'll get a cube. And you want to draw it out to the shape of the trigger. Like that. And then... You want to just move the vertexes and move this one around here just before it starts curving in. Right. Then you want to select the bottom face. Actually, insert an edge loop first and insert one about here and just straighten up by scaling in the X. And you want to select this vertex and just drag it down to about there. And now finally you can go to your perspective view. And what you want to do is grab your object. And you just want to scale it out to match the width of the gun as well. So try to get it exactly in the middle. If not just grab the face on the other side and just drag it out as well. So it's about the same size as you can see. Okay. Now you want to select a bottom face. And you want to extrude it in your side view. And you want to bring it down all the way to the bottom. Like that. And you want to move the vertexes into position. Position. Like that. <coughs> and you can tweak these vertexes by moving them a bit. Alright. keep tweaking it just to match a picture alright now you can go to perspective view and select these two edges here and select the other two and then you want to go to bevel edges pardon me and you want the offset to be about 0.6 right, so about 0.6 that bevel and now you want to go to perspective view again 
and you want to select the bottom edges so all of the bottom edges you want selected and you can do this by double clicking and here and then you want to bevel the edges actually instead of beveling all the edges just miss out the one on the right hand side at the bottom and you want that offset to be about 0 0.3 0 0.3 will do nicely right so it should look like this now you want to go to split polygon tool and just split this here and here then you want to go to insert edge loop and you want to insert one just above where this round thing comes out like that and then you want to go back to your perspective view, split polygon tool and you want to just draw on a cube like this try get them as straight as possible ok so like that select that face and then you want to extrude it out and use that image reference just so you can see where it is alright so just pull it down do whatever with it it don't have to be spot on the image but you know just try to get as close as possible now you want to select the top top edge and the you can just scale it in a bit more you can select the top edge and bottom edge and go to bevel and the offset will be about 0.55 then you want to split polygon tool and just insert split here and here and finally here and here here and here okay so that's that done now what you want to do is <coughs> is just grab these edges here and just double click and click this one at top as well this one here and this one here as well so you want to select them all even the bottom edge this time and then you want to bevel so it'll look like that and you want the offset to be about 0.98 nearly 1 so if you want to put it to 1 you can it's up to you but 0.98 is fine you want to merge these vertexes together like that just to make it much cleaner now you want to go to split polygon tool and insert a split here drag it up to about here here then end it here then you want to insert one here and split it to this corner and same with the other from that corner to that corner and then same with the bottom as well you want it corner to corner so like that all right so like this Okay. <coughs> and now if you want you can delete this edge here. So just double click it and delete edge. Grab these vertexes here and just lift them up a bit. Go into your side view and click F to frame up so you can see them grab these vertexes here and just scale them down in a Y and same with the top ones as well scale them up in a Y just to keep them nice and straight maybe move them vertexes down a tad bit and you can move these inwards a bit more bevel that edge and as you can see it inserts a new edge for you and you want the offset to be about 0.35 and you want to grab this vertex and pull it here you just want to move them a bit 
like this. Alright. So you want them to be a bit a bit like fat. And with these ones you can just drag these out a bit more and drag this one inwards. And that will do for now. Alright, also grab this vertex and just move it inwards a bit. Same with this one. Just cleans up the shape of our M16. Gives it a nice curve. Alright. And now if you go into your perspective view and you select the grip. When you click here it isolates it and just delete the top and uh, side face like that and that'll be it for the grip. Okay so now what you want to do is select these faces here and just select the ones all the way around it to the other side. Right, and now you want to extrude these faces, and you want to pull them out just a bit, like that, and then with them selected, go to mesh and extract, and it'll extract the mesh into a separate model, so now you can select this separate, and you just want to uh, center the pivot, sorry. Then select the model, isolate it, and delete the bottom faces here and here. And then if you want, you can select all these faces here. Well, not if you want, you've got to do it, sorry. Select these faces here and delete them. And then you can un-isolate it. And now you can select these edges here, faces, sorry, again, and delete these here. Double click, actually don't double click, just select each individual edge, just around the outside. Or in fact just select the faces and just delete that side. And then insert an edge loop in the middle here. And just delete that side there. Okay, so now if you select the edges on the outside, you can extrude them. So if you go to your side view, just push them in just a bit more. And now you can extrude them. Ah, my leg's gone dead. Alright, so you can drag it down in the Z axis. Like that. And then you want to extrude the edges again. And just pull them out in the X. Like that. And then you might want to scale in the X as well, just to keep them all straight. And just pull them to the end of the gun and pull these vertexes backwards inside the model and if you select these vertexes here here you can pull these back as well just a tad bit like that so it's nice and matched and that's it for part 3, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and if you have any comments please leave them, and also like the video, and again thanks for watching.